Hi, welcome back. Today I want to do a tutorial on art on editing a raw photo start to finish with a color grade using HSL inside of art. And for those that don't know, art is actually an acronym for another raw therapy. So we'll turn over to the computer and we'll take a look at the image that we're going to edit. Here we have our image here. This is the before with no adjustments or anything. And what we're going to end at is right here. So I'm going to walk through the steps now and we're going to go through and do this edit. So I'm going to go to original. So now what we're going to do is actually go through. First thing I want to do is actually set my white balance and I'm actually going to have my color picker here for the white balance set to 32 pixels. Click that. And I'm actually going to select right here with some highlight and a little bit of shadow area here. And that looks good. I'm actually just going to drop it down just a little bit about there. So you got the numbers right there. And now that we're at that point, I am going to select the arrow real quick again so it doesn't change the white balance. I'm just going to double click the image to make it larger. And what I did there is if you look here, you got over here in the left, you have the vector scope. I'm just making sure the skin tones where there's no makeup is on this dash line right here. That's your skin tone line. You don't really want to select from makeup areas because that will skew the area. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go here. I'm actually going to hit the key E and the image is obviously underexposed slightly. Now we don't want anything on the outfit or the skin to go into red because that would be clipping. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this up. Well, first we're going to set this highlight reconstruction. By default, it's on blend. You want to set it to color propagation or blended for your highlight reconstruction. And now I'm just going to bring up my exposure and just watching the skin tones. I'm not really worried about this blouse area right now. I'm just going to bring it up just about there where there's some yellow appearing in the skin here. And then I'm actually going to go through, I'm going to hit E really quick and adjust my contrast to where I want it. On this image, 20 looks good, but I do know we're getting a little bit of clipping here. So I'm actually going to bring that back on and you see there's some red here. Now you can hit E again, double click, and you can see there really is not any data loss. So you just kind of got to use your own judgment on that and your taste. But I'm going to hit E, turn on the tone equalizer, and I'm actually going to lower my whites because that blouse is white. And I'm actually going to lower it pretty far till I get rid of all the white or all the red. There's about two dots of red right there. But then I'm just going to bring down my highlights a little to fully get rid of it. Probably bring that down to maybe six, I would think. Orange is okay. It's not fully clipped. Yellow, you are bordering on clipped, but as long as you don't get red on your skin or anything, you know, gray, this gray here is neutral gray. Uh, anybody that uses a cinema camera or an external recorder knows that this is false color. So gray is the exposure for skin tone. Now I'm going to hit E. There's not much of a difference in the image. But now what I'm going to do is actually go over here to the local editing. The tool I'm using is this color and tone correction. I do have all of mine minimized because I don't like having a long list of things here. So I'm going to go into color and tone correction. But here we're going to set the mode from standard to HSL for hue, saturation, and luminance factors. Up here you do have your saturation, your input, and your output. You know, you can change your input saturation and your output saturation independent of each other to get kind of an effect that you want. But what we're going to focus on is the highlights, shadows, and midtones. And if you've ever really looked at a till and orange image, you'll notice that the till area in the highlights, there is a orange, but there's also a green tint if you look at video. So I'm actually going to push this image 
just slightly to into the green tones on this second ring here. And then the shadows I'm gonna bring down. I'm actually gonna probably push that down fairly far to about there, just a bit less. And then the mid-tones, I'm gonna try to kind of match it. I'll bring that one to about there. But then here on the shadows, you can increase the exposure of the shadows or decrease them. I'm actually gonna bring it down. I actually wanna do minus 0.73 for the look I'm going for. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. That's a bit too strong for what I have. Bring this up just a little bit until I have kind of the look I want. But the other things you can do, because this is a local adjustment, I'm doing this globally on the entire image, but you can create masks with this and just mask out very specific areas of the image. So you can do a parametric mask to maybe not color grade the skin tones and only color grade everything else. That's something you would probably do in DaVinci Resolve so your skin tones look correct, but then the image is color graded. But let's go here. We're gonna go to my before and after. Now, right now, I'm gonna leave that the way it is. I am going to create a new snapshot. I'm just gonna name it after. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unlock the before, select original, then lock before, select after, and then I'm gonna hit L to get rid of that. I'm gonna select that, and there's your before and after on the image. As you can see, the color in the image looks really good. The skin tones still look good, but this is something that I do occasionally to an image when I wanna color grade it, and that's just one way of color grading inside of art, which also works in regular raw therapy. Let me know what you think of this tutorial. Uh, do you use art? In another video, I'm actually going to show my export settings on how I send an image over to GIMP. But let me know what you think of this tutorial. And if you have any suggestions on stuff you would like to learn regarding art, a lot of this stuff is transferable over to raw therapy. It's just some of the features that are in art are unavailable in raw therapy, but there are some raw therapy tutorials coming also. But let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated as it will help the channel grow. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.